if you've got a mobile device, you're going to want it out today. And that's ryanislive.com. And you can get all of the slides that you're going to see today are going to be there. Well, maybe you guys can relate to this. Have you ever experienced the same kind of, of disoriented thrashing when it comes to technology or social media or updates, uploads, upgrades? Before your feet even hit the ground out of bed in the morning, we're all just overwhelmed. I want to help you become tomorrow's leader today. When I say leadership, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Just blurt it out. Leadership is influence. It's all about influence, all, all, all about influence. And that's never going to change. However, the avenues in which we influence are changing. And therefore, the skills that we overlay on and, and inject into those avenues need to change. I don't care if you're a student in here and you have no direct reports or if you're someone in here that doesn't think they're a leader and you live in a van down by the river, you're a leader. Because bare minimum, you got to lead yourself. But every person has some, something unique to share that could inspire and serve others. Leadership is action oriented. You've got to act if you want to lead. And that's now more important and crucial than ever before. With how much flux is in the marketplace, we as leaders have got to stay on top of it. Is if you start looking at the generations, you can begin spotting trends. As our lifespans uh, increase, it's a, it's a reality that we could be interacting with four, five, six, maybe seven different generations in the workplace. So if there's tension now, can you imagine what it'll be like at that point? The greatest equalizer is technology and internet. That has changed the game. And now you have millennials who grew up as digital natives. They are thrusting so much change into the marketplace. Think of millennials as a critical mass of early adopters. Majority of the workplace is now millennials. Three out of every four workers globally will be millennials. And the way we lead in those new environments has got to be different. And so what actually organizations are doing, big organizations that all of you would actually recognize if you heard their name, what they're doing now is they're allowing their new talent to come in their workplace and they're allowing them to choose which leader and which team they want to be a part of. Interesting, right? And what I think is fascinating about this trend is that puts a new accountability on leaders, right? You don't want to be picked last for the kickball team. Uh, if the millennials, bosses or leaders aren't talking to them, they're pulling their hair out. If they haven't heard from their manager in a day, they're on LinkedIn looking for a new job. And so you take that high pay mentality and you, and you use that to try to motivate the millennials and they're going to balk at you because they're wanting meaningful work. Be careful when you point to technology to try to blame technology because I think if you're honest and you pull back the layers a little bit, uh, I think at the core of that is a fear of change. Is technology is is accelerating our ambition to learn, it's accelerating our ambition to gain skills, to connect with people, to share our passion. People always say millennials are very, very, very tech savvy. It's not true. They're tech dependent. They don't know a world without devices. You tell me to turn off my phone, I'm going to resent you. <laughs> That's my life. I'm connected. This technology coupled with millennials is going to redefine how we work. It's going to be more project-based work. As leaders, we need to be agile. We need to shift because we're going to have to learn how to lead across generations, across time zones, and across cyberspace. Preferences and expectations of work, leadership, and communication of the millennials is going to cause a lot, a lot, a lot of change. But if we're ready, if we're positioned for those trends, uh, there's a lot of fruit and it's going to be an exciting time. Increased potential in reach means increased potential in influence. If you're not considering social media or you're not in that space, you're severely limiting your influence. It's not about the tools, it's about the reach, who you can influence over and through social media. If you want to be an effective next generation leader, you've got to create context. A lot of times Google's the first handshake now. Never get a first chance at a first impression without a solid online pre-impression. We're living in a transparent world now. So if you can allow people to peek behind the curtain and experience your brand, your leadership, or who you are, it creates a great connection. It's create context to cultivate connection. And if you want to be an effective next generation leader, you've got to achieve agility. And I believe the number one leadership skill of successful next generation leaders will be agility. Whether we like it or not, we're being forced to be agile. We're being forced to gain new skills. 
teach the same thing with leadership and how we need to evolve and be agile is you need to put yourself in uncomfortable positions like coming to this conference. Make sure you're, you're putting yourself in environments where you're stretching yourself and you're challenging your own thinking. More nimble thinking is going to help you combat faster than never before obstacles you're going to see tomorrow. And if there's something that you want to learn or you need a skill you need to gain, there's no longer any excuse not to gain that skill. As we gain more next generation skills, um, it'll, it'll help you to attack new markets or foster new ideas with greater tenacity. It is irresponsible not to use the tools of today. So that generation has a knack for adaptability. Achieve agility to adapt and advance. If you want to be an effective next generation leader, you've got to seize simplicity. Seizing simplicity can be excruciatingly complex, but it's absolutely necessary. And we live in a noisy, noisy world, so find ways to simplify to cut through the clutter. Taking a 300 word email to two sentences or a three minute video to 30 seconds, that take, that's hard work. But it's worth it because it's going to resonate and it's going to again cut through that clutter. So simplicity it has got to be a theme in your leadership. So technology has gotten easier since you've been ignoring it. Really consider about leaning back into technology. Relentlessly simplify to amplify your results. If you want to be an effective next generation leader, you've got to leverage legacy. What is your contribution to the world as a leader? Are you showing us? Are you sharing it with us? Today's digital age provides a platform to leave a true lasting legacy. The legacy of those before us was passed on by telling, which eventually fades. In the future, our legacy will be passed on by showing digitally, which can influence forever. Because we're living in a world where it's not pay it forward, it's post it forward. Or it's not word of mouth anymore, it's world of mouth. Every post counts, every tweet matters, every check-in is timeless, every picture tells a story, every pin creates context, every video reveals a trait. If the end goal is to influence people and packed lives, social media is an extraordinary tool. Technology is an extraordinary gateway to influence people. The stuff that we're putting out there at some point is going to be called into consideration. And hopefully you're investing enough in your brand that it speaks well, that it leaves a lasting legacy, that it influences people. Leverage legacy for lasting leadership. Change is as constant as the waves in the ocean. In fact, you probably could go as far as saying change is the only thing constant today. Is change is no respecter of person. Change isn't going to wait for you to catch your breath. Change isn't going to wait for you to find your feet. Change is coming with or without you. And I think we are grossly, gro all of us, everyone in the whole world, even me, are grossly underestimating how quickly things are going to evolve in the next five or ten years. I want you to tack change. I want you to be epic. So thank you for your time today, guys. Hopefully that was helpful.